know that the ban of antibiotic growth promoters is fully justified. But are we aware of consequences of banning AGPs? For example, an increase in diarrhea, weight loss, the mortality due to Lovsonia intracellular is occurred in pig production. On top of that, the less susceptibility of bacterium, of this bacterium to antibiotics, although observed, is under the radar because it's very hard to cultivate this bacterium. Keep it in mind that Lovsonia intracellularis, the causative agent of pigilitis, is economically the most important pig pathogens uh, around the globe. Our insights on how to replace AGPs and uh, reduce use of antibiotics are coming from the study in which efficiency of plant-based feed additive Patente Herba Plus to control of Sony intracellularis was assessed on four different pig farms, different in biosecurity measures. The results of our research show that the use of Patente Herba Plus is effective in decreasing the numbers of Lovsonia intracellularis in pig feces on the farms with low biosecurity measures. On the contrary, on the farms with high biosecurity measures, the number of bacteria was low, Lovsonia intracellularis was low, so it was unlikely to cause a clinically pig elitis. And consequently, the beneficial effects of the plant-based feed additive we investigated was, uh, could not be observed. Nevertheless, overall production parameters were the best on the farms with high biosecurity measures that used Patente Herba Plus in pig feed. It is concluded that important steps in replacing AGPs and reducing use of antibiotics is in reduction of pathogens presence on pig farms via improving biosecurity measures and using plant-based feed additives to lower the load of pathogens on the farms, nurture and stabilize microbial, and increase overall gut health of pigs. Last but very important, the special focus of scientific community and industry needs to be on monitoring eventual resistance of bacterium while using replacers of AGPs. So at this moment, I would like to thank you for watching this video. It was our great pleasure to demonstrate our research, which is already partially published and conducted in partnership with Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, University of Belgrade, Serbia, with Dr. Drashkovic as a part of his PhD thesis. Feel free to contact us uh, for discussing any open questions.